Alaska pays people to live there and rural cities in Kansas, Nebraska, and Minnesota give new residents free land. Now there's an effort to offer a financial incentive to Boston area residents willing to move west. Stephanie Lydon hit the road in search of the would-be payoff. With Boston's morning rush in the rearview mirror, I head to western Massachusetts. For the record, you're not there until well past Worcester when the turnpike narrows to two lanes and you see signs for the town of Palmer. Took me about 90 minutes to reach my first stop, the city of Springfield, where I meet a man with a plan, State Senator Eric Lesser. You want to essentially pay people to yeah. move to Western Mass? Yeah, well, I think the idea here is an incentive. He's filed a bill to offer up to 10000 bucks in relocation expenses to anyone who moves here. But there's a catch. It's only for people who work from home. You're saying, come here, but bring your job with you. Exactly. Come here because we've got a great lifestyle. We have great communities. We've got great schools. But we're not producing enough jobs fast enough. Our economy is not growing enough. It's the inverse of what's happening around Boston, where jobs and population are on the rise, and so is traffic and the cost of real estate. So you could actually help both ends of the state with a proposal like this. We can give an escape valve, so to speak, for the congestion and the growth grind in Boston and we can give people an opportunity to build lives here in Western Mass. Where you do get a lot more for your money. The median cost of a house in Springfield, $160,000. In nearby Holyoke, this church, the entire thing, sold six years ago for $238,000. You would have had an altar here. So we're on what was the altar? The yeah. altar space. Before buying the church, Boone and Caro Sheridan rented first in Somerville, then in Everett. And the person who owned our property decided to put it on the market. Um, it wasn't necessarily something that we could purchase, so it was time to move. Here, there's room for everything. Her sewing studio, his home office, so do they miss the city? Choices shrank, um, <laughs> but we still have a lot of things to do. I think we had a favorite bar in Somerville, and now we have a favorite bar in Northampton. We're not missing out on anything here, really? I. It's, it's been good for us. Yeah. Lesser's bill would set aside a million dollars, enough to fund the relocation of about 100 families. It's a modest start to address what he says is a major problem, no matter what side of the state you call home. Eventually, jobs and opportunity will leave Boston on their own because it's too expensive, because no one can get around, because nobody can afford to live there. If we don't have a holistic view of growth and opportunity in our commonwealth, we are going to end up with both places suffering. And no one wants to go down that road. Stephanie Lydon, WGBH News. If the plan passes, Western Mass will have some nearby competition. Vermont just implemented a similar measure, offering work-at-home newcomers a $10,000 relocation incentive.